Praxis and I'm back on site today. Uh, finishing up, well, probably not finishing up, but getting close to finishing up all of these floor joists on the second floor. Uh, I've got them all taped off in this room and the room on the other side of that wall there, and now I'm gonna start painting them. I wanted to mention about how much of the, well not paint, stain. Uh, I wanted to mention about how much of the stain I've used so far. Uh, if you guys remember when I was mixing it up, I had two full gallons and then a bunch of random little ones. I think I probably mixed up about two and a half gallons of the stuff. And just judging on how I'm going through it, I think by the time I'm done with all of these floor joists and the collar ties up there that I already did and the floor joists underneath here, I think I'm probably going to still have more than two gallons of the stuff left. It, stain goes a really long way. You just put it on really light and, um, you know, I'm going to have a lot left over. But that's fine because what I'm planning on doing with this is adding some dark stain, something really dark, and then I'm going to use it for all the floors. And I guess I'll be able to calculate much more easily exactly how much I'll need for the floors because it's you know, a certain number of square feet, so I'll be able to figure that out a little bit more precisely. And then hopefully at the end I'll have just a little left. I'll probably save a little bit of this stain, maybe in the, uh, I, I don't know, I can't remember. Like Here in America we use like the old-fashioned way of measuring everything. A pint or whatever, like the, the, the thing that's like that big and there's like four of them in a gallon or I, I, we honestly can't remember any of this stuff. It's ridiculous. We should just all go metric, but they indoctrinate us when we're in school. So it's like, it's just set Fahrenheit, feet, inches, fathoms, cubits. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I think I'll probably save some of this color and then, uh, uh, you know, mix up the rest to be floor, and that way I'll have a little bit left over if I want to, you know, add it to anything. But that, that's all I'm really doing today is just finishing up these guys. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to wonder whether I'm going to hear back from the uh, plumber soon, because I'm kind of, that's sort of the person that's holding me up at the moment, because I need to hear back from the plumber in order to finish up the last of the stud walls, uh, because I need to know exact specs on the tub and shower units that he's going to be bringing for me, and um, uh, without that information I can't, you know, I can't put in the stud walls with nailers in exactly the right place. So uh, I guess i got to get a little bit more aggressive about calling him up and being like, hey, could you send me the information that you told me you'd send me? At this point, i still got a little bit more sanding to do, and then I can go downstairs and I can work on some, uh, you know, some more sanding, and there is more sanding down there, but you know, the end is in sight of stuff that I can do without hearing back from that plumber. So I guess I gotta get a little bit more aggressive on trying to hear back from them. This is something I do a lot, like when it's rough, I kinda just kinda scrub the stuff in and then afterwards go over and give it some nice uh, streaks with the grain of the wood. Not that it matters that much because you really established the uh, streaking when you do the wipe at the end, but looks nice anyway. That's it, thanks for watching.